Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for your overwhelming response and comments. Most of you have requested to create a video on Docker from scratch starting from the installations. Today in this video, I'll show you how we can install Docker and Docker Compose in Amazon Linux to EC2 instances. Also, we'll show you the real-time command executions. So let's start. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. I have logged into the EC2 instances. So let's start. Anyway, before you install anything, make sure that you update the operating systems, right? So let's update it. Sudo yum update my pen. Yes. So it's not really required for your organizations of your any company you are working. It's not required to update it. But if you're for a demo, as I have created a new EC2 instance machines, so I'm just updating, make sure that all the operating system is up to date. Okay. Let's see. Okay. That says no packages mark for update. That's okay. No issues. Then what we can do here to install Docker, you have to use sudo yum docker. Sorry, so yum install docker happen yes. So here we are using yum package manager to install the docker engine. So let's hit enter. We can just install docker pause. Just wait for a few seconds and it will be installed. So it's done now. Now if I just do Docker. Okay, so once you install Docker, we need to start the Docker, right? So if I just check sudo system ctl status Docker service, okay. So what it says it is inactive. Okay, now let's start this Docker engine. So you have to use sudo Docker. Sorry, you have to use sudo system ctl start Docker. Now, if I check the status, you'll see here, okay, Docker is now active and running. Now, let's make myself first root. So I am under root user now. What I'll do now, if I just do Docker, okay, just hit Docker, it will give you the complete details about the Docker commands and all if it is installed successfully. Okay, so if you want to check which versions of Docker is there, so if I just use Docker hyphen V, it will give us 20.10.23, right? This is the version which we have installed the Docker. Now, let's see a small example of creating a container in Docker after installation, whether a container we are able to create or manage or not, right? So, to use that, I'm just going to use Docker container command, Docker container run. Then what I'm going to use let uh, to create one HTTPD server, suppose one Apache server, right? So I'm going to give a name to this, okay? Type a name. So with that, uh, let me give it to run in the detached mode in the background, right? Just give a name to it. Suppose uh, I'll give us a web server, right? And you have to publish the port. Remember the Apache server, the HTTPD server, the default port is 80, okay? 80. So we give 80, 80. So the first one will be your container port and we are going to publish the container port to the host port. So with this host port, we can able to access the web server running in the container. Okay, now what we can do, then provide the image name. So as I don't have any image created, I can use the inbuilt image provided by the Docker Hub or Docker registry. So let's give that HTTPD. So this is the image name. You can search in the Docker hub Docker dot com. There you find complete details about the HTTPD server. Okay. Now, if I just hit enter, what it will do? It will just get. It will just get the latest version of Docker. So it will just get the latest version of the HTTPD server, and then it will try to create the container. Now you can see here, first what it did, it just unable to find image. That means this image was not locally 
in this laptop or in this server was not available so it pulled out from the library from the registry and then after that it just created the container so if i just do docker container ls so we can see here our container id this container is now up 30 seconds ago and is now running so how i'll access this container now we can go ahead and grab the ip address of the grab the ip address of the server where your docker is installed or docker container is running right now let's test it see we can see here it says it works that means our apache server is installed and apache server it's deployed successfully in the container so we get container from the http this image now uh, so let's see how we can go inside the running container so we can use docker exec hyphen it interactively connect to the container so give the container name or the container id so here the container is web server okay and just give p and bas here so here it is you can see now i just connected to the container i went inside to the con con uh, container and there we have this container working directly if i just do ls hyphen l here we can find st docs okay let's go to this st docs folder here okay and here we'll see this particular index.html file will be there particular if i just do cat index.html you can see here it's just giving a, one html body and it just gives it works right so you can deploy your index.html file in this particular path and your applications will be ready right now now we saw how to install docker and just work on it now let let me show you how we can install docker compose right so to install docker compose uh, i just uh, you can just use this docs.docker.com and the slash compose and here you have to just go to the installations uh, path here and you can just can find uh, the number of ways how we can install it right just select on the install compose standalone and you'll find here there is on linux how we can install it also it shows on windows server how we can install it let me show you in this on linux machine let's copy this to download and install compose standalone run this command so this complete command you can just copy this complete command here go to the machine okay come out from this container uh, what i can do here just paste it here call docker compose now it just downloaded the docker compose here docker compose uh, that executable now if we just go to this particular path docker compose will not be executable initially when it is downloaded right so what we need to do here see it does not have execution permission now what you can do here you can use uh, ch mode plus x here executable and give docker compose file name okay so now if you see here we'll have the execution permission here docker compose see now if you see here same thing also is being written here apply executable permission to the sign so once you provide this executable permissions we need to execute this command to make sure that uh, uh, docker compose is up and running or not so here uh, what is says uh, to create one uh, soft link and put this docker compose under this pin directory so what we have to do first let's copy and create a soft link so that anywhere any place we can use the docker compose command to execute now you can see here docker compose we created the uh, soft link there symbolic link now if i just to uh, go to any directory just if i do docker compose right and check the version which version of docker is uh, installed now we can do here version c our docker compose particular this version 2.17.3 so this is how you can install docker and docker compose and you can just work on this hope you understood clearly how we can install docker and work on the docker platform and create containers out of that if you have any doubt or any concerns please do write me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when i add more videos and such topics thank you